2022 was an extraordinary year. We traveled to the moon again for the first time in half a century. We made history with the James Webb Space Telescope, seeing deeper into the universe than ever before. And those same folks exploring outward are also the same people looking inward toward Earth. So what did we see this past year? A lot. Scientists around the world determined that greenhouse gas emissions that drive climate change once again set new records. In July, we sent a new instrument called EMIT to the International Space Station. EMIT can identify super emitters of methane, a powerful greenhouse gas coming from pipelines, landfills, and other sources. And it's already recorded super plumes all over the world, including in Turkmenistan, Iran, and New Mexico. Methane, carbon dioxide, and other greenhouse gases trap heat in the climate system and cause rising global surface temperatures. 2022 effectively tied for Earth's fifth warmest year since 1880, and the last nine consecutive years have been the warmest nine on record. And all that heat expressed itself differently across the globe this year. Most of the extra heat in the climate system builds up in the ocean, and 2022 set new records for ocean heat in independent NOAA and NASA analyses. This increased ocean heat can fuel intense tropical storms, like we saw in September with Hurricane Ian. Ian rapidly intensified from a tropical storm into a Category 4 in under 24 hours, and became one of the costliest storms to ever hit the U.S. As the climate system warms, the atmosphere holds more moisture, resulting in more intense heavy downpours. From June through September, Pakistan saw some of the worst flooding in a decade due to prolonged and intense monsoon rains, leaving behind a devastated community. Increasing heat not only leads to more water in the atmosphere and heavier downpours, but it also exacerbates soil moisture loss and drought, which is what we saw in the American West as it experienced ongoing droughts in 2022, leading to vital water reservoirs like Lake Mead and Lake Powell dropping to just 27% of capacity. Drier and warmer conditions means there's more fuel and opportunities for fires. In January, during a long-standing heat wave and drought, the Corrientes province in Argentina saw over a thousand fires. It devastated important wetlands in Iberia National Park and vital surrounding farmland. But there is hope looking ahead. In addition to monitoring Earth, NASA is powering solutions with free and open data, like OpenET, a tool for farmers and other resource managers to plan and implement irrigation and water use in a warming world. NASA know-how is also helping firefighters and forest managers prevent future fire hazards by better controlling airspace during prescribed burns and emergency response. As we've seen, a warming climate impacts all of us, and it's going to take all of us to combat it. As we look back at 2022 and years past, we see that each year we better understand the challenges we face and how important it is to meet them. <laughs>